for page three of the gizmos. So we just left off page two. We took a screenshot, so I'm just going to exit out of that. This is where we are. So now practice. Use the gizmo to complete each of the following challenges. When you have finished each one, take a screenshot and add it to the chart. Label each image with the volume. All right, so we need to fill the 25 milliliter cylinder or 25 milliliter graduated cylinder with 11.5 milliliters of water. All right, so I'm gonna take this away. So now we have the um, 25 milliliter graduated cylinder right here, but it's full of too much water. So I'm gonna dump it out. And then I'm gonna try filling it up again here. I'm gonna stop around 10, use my magnifying glass again to take a look. All right, and I've got in here, it's at 10, not at 11, so this is about 10.5-ish right now. So I need to get my pipette again. Fill it up with more water. Oh, I have to empty it. Then fill it up with more water. Okay, I'm gonna bring it over here. Get my magnifying glass again, ready to go. So I need 11.5. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did before. I'm just gonna slowly but surely, I'm at 11. And then you get to that small tick mark at 11.5. So that looks like 11.5 to me. That's us to take a screenshot. So again, I'm gonna go over here to tools. I'm gonna take a screenshot. So I have my screenshot. So again, I'm going to do the two finger tap to get our menu here. Copy image. I'm gonna go over to the Google Doc. I'm gonna click into this top one. I'm going to two finger tap and do paste. And then I can either leave it that big or if I want to adjust the size, I can also make it a little bit smaller and it asks to label the volume and this is 11.5, so I'm gonna do 11.5 milliliters. All right, and then you're gonna do that same thing. You're gonna take the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder and fill it with 76 milliliters of water and take the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and fill it with, excuse me, 38.5 milliliters of water. So back over here, try it this way. You can dump this out. You can put this one back in the cabinet grab the 100, you know it's 100 because it says 100 over here, and go ahead and fill it up like you did the other one and get your two pictures. And then lastly, think and discuss, suppose you need to measure exactly 15.0 milliliters of water for an experiment. Which graduated cylinder would be the best one to use and why? So then you're gonna take a look at all three of your graduated cylinders, put that one back so I have another room, and see which one would be easiest to get exactly 15. So you're gonna take a look at all three and based on what you did here, figure out which would be easier to get exactly 15 and type it right there. If you have any questions about this, let me know or maybe watch these videos again because I think they're pretty thorough um, and let me know if you need anything. Thanks.